friends, it's Nancy. It's Tuesday. We're going to take out some trash. So I have this chocolate box. This was a, a bar of delicious Laura Secord coffee, or er, coffee. <laughs> I love chocolate almost as much as I love coffee. So the overall dimensions, and this is, you know, probably standard, is about three and a quarter by seven and a half when it's when it's closed and about between mm, a quarter three-eighths of an inch I'm sure you could you know force yourself to go out and get yourself a chocolate treat so the first thing I'm gonna do is take off those extra lumps that we do not need. So I want to cover this with some paper, but first of all, I need to um, make these angled. Could leave it like that but it looks weird so I'm going to just gonna draw myself a little why can I never find a pencil in this place I'm telling you be good. Um, I don't think I will need to do anything too exciting there. Maybe I'll just put a piece of tape on it. So we're going to pretend that that's not there. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to make a magnet, magnetized notebook. So let me find some little magnets. Okay. I couldn't find my little magnets. They're little, like a half inch across metal magnets. I can't find them. So I thought, well, I had this little thin magnet on the fridge. I thought, well, maybe that will work. It doesn't. So I'm going to take that off. I glued it down with uh, Fabri-Tac and then covered it with masking tape. That was a no-go. I don't know where I would have put them. Searched and searched and searched. Okay. These I tore off. I had this little mini clipboard that I got as a freebie. Uh, so I tore the magnet off the back and these seem... seem to want to cling together. I'm going to try to center that up a bit. not perfect. It's perfectly imperfect. Okay. 
Oh, I better tape it down. Because I want to be able to cover this in paper. And the paper needs to stick. And then we'll be able to tell if it's going to stick through the extra layers of paper. The metal ones would have worked so well if I had them. <laughs> would have been a great... Okay, so this will fold. Okay, okay, so I'm just going to use my bone folder to make sure that these creases are creasy decrease creased a young one that I work with whenever she prints a document she says printy print <laughs> it cracks me up so here I am, creasy crease. All right. Yes. Yes. The only real issue is I'm not going to be able to sew. Oh my word, I can't sew. Okay. I'm going to look for some beautiful paper. Okay. I've chosen this one. Um, I think, I think the roses are going to go all Wait. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this this hangy edge off. This is super thin scrap of paper. Super thin. I wouldn't try using anything but you know maybe something you'd get off the racks at Michael's or maybe a pack from the dollar store. Okay. So. I do it this way. No, I feel like I want this on the bottom. Okay, so this is my front. So I'm going to put it like that. And then somewhere over here it'll end. Okay. So I'm, I want to leave a little margin over so because I want to turn the paper over not a ton because I want I don't want to waste that rose but maybe I don't know maybe half an inch Just gonna score that. And then a half an inch from that side.
Okay. So this this is going this way. And I'm just going to glue the front and the front only, and I'm going to let it dry. Okay. thinking now I should have used a different glue. Maybe I'll use the Fabri-Tac on the other pages. Okay. See, unless you do it piece by piece and go slowly, um, your paper will get all... It, it just won't fold. It just won't fold at the at the uh, areas where it needs to wrap around the card. Okay. I'll fold that over. Okay, it's hard work. <laughs> okay, again, I'm just going to do the front. The next one. Uh, 
I know it seems like a lot of work, but you want to have the best finish that you can achieve. You're taking your time doing something isn't terrible, is it? Just going to trim this off. And then it's hard to train this one to go around that bend because I can't lay this flat because of the magnet. I'm going to cut off these corners. And then help them to go around. And around and that didn't happen very good there. You know what it is? It's that stupid piece of tape. Silly. Don't say stupid. <laughs> you ever have a kid tell you that stupid is the S word? <laughs> first I think that works. I'm just going to cut a little divot there. I'm going to divot thusly. Okay. Glue. Might be time to refill this thing again. up against that edge. Uh, 
try not to tear the paper as I go over that magnet. Okay. So I'm going to cut a little bit out of there. Perfect. So I'm going to cut this little diamond shape out of this one. This little diamond out. Okay. Come on, glue. I'm going to uh, do a little miter here. Yep, it's going to work. Might do a few little darts here. I get this done and the magnets don't work. I'm gonna be livid. <laughs> I'm gonna be some cranky. Well, that's a shame. I cut a little too much there.
Okay. Um, the reason I'm using fabric glue, you, you know, it is expensive, so I better be using it for a good reason. Um, it doesn't warp your paper. Like if you use uh, a glue stick or a um, white glue, it might make it a little... Okay. Oh, nuts. It's not going to work. something else. this is going to work or not. I hate to waste it. <laughs> some sorry silk or um yeah what a disappointment I feel like those metal ones would have worked all right I'm gonna get some ink going on here Let's see if we can make it look a little better <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am 
making all these noises. I I fell a week ago and it's gotten more and more painful. As time goes on. Hey. This has got to get a whole lot dirtier. It looks too light to be the flap. Okay. Maybe I'm going to have to go like that. Wait, there it is. Okay. So, I don't know if I have enough paper left to do the lining. Might be able to do one lining. And the rest I think I'll just cover with um, tea dyed paper. Let me just pause and grab some. Okay, we're going to do some measuring. Okay, so this is seven and a half. So I'm going to cut this seven and three eighths. So just an eighth of an inch shorter. I'm going to glue it to the front or the back, whatever it is, only, just like we did with the, um, with the, the fat paper on the front. And I don't want to go right to the edge, I just want to stay in the edge a bit because it's a little shorter. There we are. Okay. So I want to make sure I put this in equal distance from the end or the edges and then smoosh it down. Missed the first bend. Okay. Woo, lots of work.
this off. Blush. in there tight. And then this fold. Here, I'm going to trim just a whisker, a whisker. One whisker. this down before, <laughs> before anything else happens. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. Uh, Just uh, putting the mark here so I know where, I'll, where I'm going to cut it off. I'm 
just cutting it a little whisker inside that fold. I mean, you if you wanted to, you can try doing this without putting all the folds in, but you're not you're not going to be happy with the finished product. Oh my gosh, I'm not happy with that finished product. I'm going to try to trim this. The reason I paused it was because I was going to bring it over off the edge of the table so I could lay a ruler on it and cut it. And that's what I did. So, But you wouldn't have been able to see it, so you just have to trust me that I'm, um, you know, a little crazy about uh, straight edges. I think I'm I think I'm going to leave it like this so that the whole flower shows rather than flapping this over. Just have to add a little ink where that paper tore a bit from the uh, tearing out the magnet. Now, the next little job I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pad of paper. No, I'm going to make a signature and sew it in here. And maybe I'll do like I did on that little journal where I... Um, uh, so seven and a half so I need three and three quarters I'm going to put a little mark on the on the spine where three and three quarters is and maybe I'll do another ribbon with a brad so one two three and three quarters Right here. Okay, let me get some paper together and um, I'll make uh, a, a signature and we will stitch it in and add the ribbon. It's going to look great. I changed my mind about the brad. I'm going to glue this ribbon down and then I'm going to glue this button down. This is a, a shell button. I'm going to make sure that the, the um, holes are one on top of the other. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. Okay, I do have oh, 10 sheets of paper. And I'm going to make this a six hole, a six hole stitch because um, I don't want to stitch through the center. So I've got a little template here. use a big needle rather than an awl.
There we go. Now, where is my template? So I'm just going to mark a little dot here and a little dot here and a little dot there. Those last two holes I didn't exactly get in the center, but that's gonna do. Okay, now I'm gonna poke a hole air and there. Okay, let's get some thread. A knot in it. Don't need a knot right now. Okay. Lay down, button. You just lay down. Just gonna put a little bit of white glue in here so that thread doesn't pop out. It won't, of course. All right. All righty, right, right. So here we go. Um. So I'm gonna do a three-hole pamphlet stitch in each end. I want my waxed thread. not there. Oh well, we'll use this one. I guess I can do this in two pieces. So I'm going to go up in the middle. down there and then skip over that hole go through 
through that one. And then back down through the center hole. that tight and then I'm going to do two knots right over left and left over right okay and then we'll do the same on the other side okay I got that all done. Just going to put some little labels on here. That one is too big. I've tried I've tried num a number of labels. But here's what I thought I'd go with. This one and this one. Sort of like that. Okay, I'm gonna ink up the edge. Uh this came with something. This, I believe, is Tracy Fox. Okay. There we are. Oh, I tried these as well. Nah. Um, Alright, so that's what the spine looks like. It has two three-hole punch, three-hole pamphlet stitch. And then this opens up. And there's lots of little papers to write on. all down, wrap that around there, and we will tie a knot. Woo! So that was uh, trials and tribulations to say the least. Um, if you stuck around this long, thank you. <laughs> what would I do differently? Um, just about everything. Um, I would try it again if I had the right magnets. I really feel like a magnet would have been, and even if it like was magnets top and bottom, that might be good too. So thanks again for sticking in there with me. Um, I hope you'll take a different look at maybe some trash that you're about to throw out and see if you can create a little something that'll give you pleasure. Take care. We're going to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.